Good morning, beautiful babes. It is a cloudy, gloomy day here in Spain, which is few and far between, honestly. The grey days uh, are also really nice because obviously I'm from Ireland. I'm used to cloudy, gloomy weather. <laughs> so there's something really comforting about it. I love putting on a big jumper, drinking a coffee, um, and I actually made a really incredible discovery this morning. I'm sure it's not new news to a lot of people, but I discovered this morning tinned coconut milk, the really good fatty, full fat stuff in your coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna be here sipping on my coffee, chilling. I have a decent amount of work to do today. So I'm enjoying my slow morning while I can. I did my gratitude practice. Um, and I'm just gonna read a book, I think, drink my coffee and I will see you at breakfast time. As you guys have seen from the title of this video, I'm on my period and all I want is comfort. Um, and that this morning is coming in the form of avocado toast because I have some sourdough in the freezer. Every time I buy a loaf of sourdough, I know that I'm not gonna use it before it goes bad. Um, so I cut half of the loaf into slices and pop it in the freezer. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of slices of bread, toast that up, smash up some avocado, and that is just my idea of a perfect breakfast today. And if you know me, <laughs> that will be weird because I eat oats like 363 days of the year for breakfast um, but I just don't feel like it today and I like to listen to what my body is telling me and to my cravings so I'm gonna have a savory breakfast of avocado toast. This reminds me of the avocado toast that they used to serve at a cafe I worked at in Australia. Um, in Melbourne, they had feta in the avo smash, feta, basil, and chili. It was incredible. Um, I didn't have any fresh basil, unfortunately, but I added the feta and some hot sauce to replicate their smash, and it is just, incredible. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you at lunchtime. So for those of you who don't know, I actually tutor English online, which is what I'm kind of in the middle of right now. I just have a little brick, so I heated up the rest of my coffee, which is so sad. Um, I heated up the rest of my coffee anyway, and I'm having it with a brownie, which is delicious. It's a vegan gluten-free brownie that I baked yesterday, virtually, uh, with my friend, because she's in Paris and she is in lockdown. Uh, this is actually her recipe, um, so I'll link it down below. It is so decadent and delicious, and, mm, and are you even on your period if you're not eating chocolate? When you hate it, 
Oh. So for lunch, I am having some leftovers. This is muqueca. It's a Brazilian stew. And normally it's made with fish, but I've made my version with plantain. And you just serve it with some rice. It is so good. Plantain. It has been a very long day. I'm not really entirely sure why I chose the first day of having my period to record a what I ate in a day, but here we are. Um, so <laughs> dinner is just super simple, super easy, super fast, um, and very comforting for me. When I'm on my period, I just want to eat comforting food that I know is also going to be good for me. Um, are two brownies good for me, you may ask? And I answer yes. Um, so for dinner, <laughs> I'm having um, chips and tofu nuggets. And I just um, cut and boil some potatoes. And then I cut tofu into cubes, put it first in a slurry of starch and milk. And then I put it in some gluten-free breadcrumbs, which cheap hack for you when you're buying gluten-free bread anyway, if you're buying gluten-free bread, um, let some of it go a little steel, a little hard, and just blitz it up in your blender and you have gluten-free breadcrumbs. You're welcome. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what we needed. Focus on the nugget. No, I just want to. I'm gonna go eat these in peace and calm. That's it for now. I may eat another brownie. And I'm not even sorry about it. I did not record an outro because I was so tired, um, kind of grumpy, ready for my bed, did not want to talk to anyone, even a camera. <laughs> um, but keeping it real, I had another brownie because as we all know, I deserved it. <laughs> my body's going through some stuff, you know, so it's okay. I do not condone three brownies a day every day but if you need it you need it and that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um give it a like subscribe comment all that good stuff and i will see you in my next video bye